Hello everyone, it is Pelican Dude, and I have returned to play Galactic War. As you may or may not be aware, I tried to play Galactic War about a year ago already, if not more, and unfortunately three episodes in, during the recording of the fourth episode, my commander was killed, and that was before there was a separation between hardcore mode and, and normal mode, so I could not find any way to actually continue that Galactic War. My commander was dead. There was... that was it. That was the end. There was no continuation whatsoever, which really kind of sucked. You know, there was no way for me to continue, um, because it was a stupid mistake, too. It wasn't even like I lost a battle. It was basically my commander was in an air transport, and a couple of fighters flew over, and that was that. Um, so yeah, that was the end of the first foundation. But you know, I was thinking about it, and any logical contingency plan, anyone who had rulers so wise as ours, who had calculated every outcome to conceive that there was some way to in fact continue their empire beyond the destruction of the galaxy, would of course have more than one foundation. So here we go, playing as the second foundation here, um, with our Invictus Commander, very appropriate. I thought the Invictus would be the most appropriate for the second commander and the second contingency, the last contingency plan. We uh, remain unconquered with our Invictus and shall be going forth to wreak havoc upon the galaxy to throw out the usurpers, the barbarians, and the fiends who have taken root in the absence of civilization to rebuild the glory that once belonged to our great peoples and to utterly annihilate those who stand in our path. So, with that inspiring speech out of the way, it practically Independence Day level, I know, we're going to war. So let's see what we got. I know that's that's why we have this foundation. See, I love how the game starts with like a oh yeah, you know, that much has been lost and da 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 da. -da. There are other commanders, they also seek answers, and you're like, ah, oh, they also seek answers? Isn't that fascinating? Perhaps we could work together, and then it's like, ah, oh, destroy them all. It's like, oh, okay, like if we're all seeking answers, can't we peacefully coexist? But no, they're all barbarians, I tell you. They must be annihilated. Alright, um, I think we need, yeah, we want basic bots, would definitely be... I think that's the most valuable of these techs. We're going to jump over here. We can hopefully get a couple of do, 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 do. complete orbital tech. That, so all orbital units and orbital factories, that seems to me valuable. This is... Legate Flavius, a close advisor to Invictus. Flavius often provides counsel on matters regarding um, autonomy among the Legate, whatever that means. While some older members of the Legion distrust such progressivism, rates of recruitment from other factions have increased noticeably. Wait, there's recruitment from other factions? What are we talking about? Okay, so there's only these three neutral stars that we actually could uh, get, which is actually good, because if you remember in older Galactic Wars, you could take over like a third of the galaxy, because like a third of it was neutral. Um, it's more fun to have more fighting, in my opinion. So here we go. This is the first first planetary system that we must cleanse of the usurpers. 
I'm getting very imperialistic right now. You know, imperial imperialism's fun, right? I'm not gonna lie. I wish there was more than one. Ooh, it's like a. This is an interesting planet. It's all. It's got these gigantic structures on it, and relatively small planet though. Um, should be intriguing. It reminds me. <laughs> this actually reminds me a lot of like a Supreme Commander map or something with like the perfect four metal deposits around most of the starting locations. Okay, what's the uh, what's the best place for us? We got six up here, but closer proximity. You know what? Let's let's go here for for the fun and the walls. We'll start on this platform, this uh, plateau, artificial plateau building thing. This will be our uh, main base of operations here on Van Middle or Von Middle. I don't know what the little accent technically should uh, how that should affect the pronunciation of the letter A. I am not a linguist. I am an engineer. So, you know. Alright, let's see here. Vehicles, why not? Yeah, like, I know that, like, taking that long to decide, like, you should already have this stuff made up in your mind what you should be doing in a multiplayer game this is this is you know single player so I can have a bit more time to think and yes it is being played on relentless difficulty but even so you know I think we'll be okay with a couple seconds hesitation or doing some silly things that would almost never work against real players you know if you don't do silly things every once in a while even against real players sometimes it's fun to do silly things against real players then what's the fun right I mean, if you just, like, make a giant swarm of units and never try something unique, and you always win in the same way every single time, it just seems like it would get incredibly boring to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I mean, winning is fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just that uh, winning in the same way is less fun. I wonder, if, I wonder how many things are like that. I wonder if... Uh, I mean, I guess it would make sense, like, if you were, say, a football player or something, or on a football team, professional football team, and uh, for any any non-Americans right now, I am technically talking about American football, but the same, I think, would be true of, you know, actual football. I, I am fully aware that American football is not actual football, then we just call it football for no apparent reason, um, considering they don't even use their feet. But, anyway... Um, you know, American football, like, I, I feel like you, I guess it would be, um, hmm. if you, like, had a winning play or something, would you just, you, I guess you just keep using it until the other teams start to catch on, and then, you know, once there's a counter developed for it, that's when you decide to change things up a little bit? I don't, I don't know. I'm not a sports person. I know hardly anything about sports, so... As I'm speculating about changing up the way you should win for no reason, there's also, of course, you know, good reasons to change up the way that you're playing, because if you're playing in the very samey sort of way every single time, again, like if a sports team was doing that, um, I suppose it would be pretty easy to figure out some sort of counter for you, and then you would, you know, lose, presumably in the next, uh, it looks like they have some sort of air units, next, like, match or game or whatever. I am really not a sports person. I'm sorry. I, I know almost nothing. Um, you, Commander, go over there. These engineers, um, they can run that way. Do, do, do we really need another factory? I'm really lollygagging around here. All right. Yeah, commanders, murder these fools. Thank you. Do, do, do. Um, can we maybe get... Uh, it's too hard for us to shoot the scout vehicle, I guess. What do you know? Um, let's do a little bit of a defense creep up here. And then we're going to claim these or our own do, 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 reclaim some of this mass even though we need to be building more so all of you go over there and help him out so that way we can actually start spending things and then build 
better turrets. Bigger guns, more guns, better guns. That's always a fairly good philosophy to have, I feel. In, uh, in most circumstances, you know, I mean... Really, there's nothing wrong with having big guns, right? Like, you know, you might as well have gigantic freaking guns. Like, because, I mean, just because you have them, it's kind of like nuclear deterrence, right? I mean, if they're going to exist, you might as well have them too. Just so that way you can, uh, you know, have a bit of a deterrent. Like, hey, you know, you can nuke me, but... Also, I will nuke you back. Again, like, I'm not promoting nuclear weapons. I'm just pointing out, okay, I want you to help him. Like, continue helping him. It is one of those weird questions, right, of, like, nuclear weapons. Like, are they... What effect have they truly had on us as a civilization? Have they actually discouraged warfare, in a sense? Because, like, on one hand, you know, obviously my homeland of the United States is not particularly well known for um, leaving its nose out of certain conflicts, but I mean, like, in terms of actual conflicts between quote-unquote highly developed countries um, or strong militaristic countries, like, that's been relatively reduced in recent years, you know, like Russia and the United States or the Soviet Union and the United States, I should say never went to war during the Cold War. I mean, they... Obviously, there was this thing called the Cold War, but, like, it was never actually a war in the same sense that, you know, uh, World War Two was, which it quite... Like, if there hadn't been nuclear weapons in the, in the equation, like, a third world war would have almost been completely certain. Like, you know, you could have... You would have just had these large industrial societies who had no real reason to I mean they could f they would fear each other but not in the same way that they feared with nuclear weapons where they would be unwilling to fight each other because it's like oh well you know let's risk it we'll see if uh, if the if the tensions are high enough you know our tanks are better than th their tanks or whatever or our infantry we're sure you know our armies can take them but when you have nukes doesn't really matter who has like better stuff, as long as both of you generally have nukes, you can wipe each other out completely, so just don't do it. <laughs> generally. Uh, of course, in Planetary Annihilation, we don't care if the enemy has nukes, because I have really not... I, I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention right now. Okay, I need more energy generators. That's quite clear. I don't understand why you can't cancel things in this game. Like, think about it. Like, if you cancel production on a factory, they, it keeps building the last unit. I don't understand why exactly. Uh, okay, let's send in the troops. There's been, like, some units added, even, that I don't even fully know what they are. It's been so long. I mean, I love this game, it just changes a lot, which is a good thing. Okay, we all, let's take advantage of this complete orbital tech of ours, and, um... Why, the camera keeps jigging around. Okay, oh, complete orbital tech and actually build multiple orbital units while we kind of encroach on this enemy. Let's see here. Um, yeah, we don't have any artillery, so let's just do a bit of a defense creep with these engineers. Might as well try. For being a relentless level AI, this guy has not expanded much. I wonder if that has something to do with since metal is so scarce. We'll send a couple of units up here just to make sure he hasn't sent something up there. But, like, I mean, okay, it's not like a top difficulty AI, but he's one step from top difficulty. I would assume that should still be pretty good. I don't think we're going to need a battleship. Um, let's just make, like, a solar array. Let's 
just use it for eco, essentially. I don't have any advanced eco except for solar arrays, so... Solar arrays will be quite useful, I'm sure, in the beginning of this, uh... This playthrough, until I get advanced eco anyway, which I do not know at what point that will be. And now I'm just basically building more fortifications up here, just to make it look cool. Like, if you're gonna have a base on this planet, might as well build it on top of one of these plateaus. Okay, so here we are. We have successfully creeped while well, these engineers are getting killed now, but... Um... So, I guess... Can this guy not hit him because wreckage? That's unfortunate. Well... We're trying. I mean, it's... It's a... Oh! There's something up here. Yeah, okay, so good thing we did send these. Oh, they have air units. Jerks. Uh, okay. Our, I already knew they had air units, right? I can't remember. I can't remember the things that I say. Everything here is strictly speaking off the record. No comment. Nothing I say here can be held against me in a court of law or whatever. I don't know. I know nothing. What is this? A space probe? Hermes? Hmm. Why not? Okay, so enemy commander is here somewhere over there. Oh, he's also, uh, no, he's a Delta. Okay. Because I'm, I'm an Invictus, which is slightly different. Ugh. <sighs> I do find the name of the Invictus Commander to be quite nice. You know, it is a fun idea that Planetary Annihilation has with the um, multitude of commanders, where it's like, yeah, it's we have multiple commanders. It's all the same faction. I'm not sure if I like or don't like all the same faction. Like, there's parts... I guess it's a love-hate relationship, right? Like, there's parts of it that I think are cool, and parts of it that... I don't like. But here we go. Obviously, he's he's dead. Like, in a matter of seconds. Yep, there we go. Destroyed most of the force that, uh, you know, took him out in his uh, death throws, one might say. But I think we have clearly established ourselves quite thoroughly on this planet. So, there we go. Apparently, 96.8% efficiency. What do you know? Isn't that great? I don't know what that exactly is a count of, but whatever. Alright, 11 minutes and 12 seconds. Go ahead and continue the war um, and see what he had. Alright, sub-commander? I didn't know that this existed. I like it. Is he, like, an actual command unit that, like, actually, I didn't, I'm, like I said, I was unaware of this. I'm going to try this because as much as I'd like an additional data bank eventually, that just seems, that just seems fantastic. So, like, are there going to be two commanders whenever I attack something now? That... That's great. Well, here we go. Um, we've got a very small corner of the galaxy under our control. Four planetary systems and a lot to go. But that is the nature of Galactic War, and that's what makes it so fun. So, thank you for watching. I'm glad that you were able to join us on this first leg of the second foundation. And I hope that you will uh, continue to show up in the future. So... That will be all for the first episode.